Now it's time for more of Southern California's sports fishing voice. Let's talk hook up. Get ready for more of the best fishing information and the hottest tips on improving your angling skills. Let's Talk Hook Up is sponsored in part by Yamaha Outboards. Reliability starts here. Ford, the official truck of Let's Talk Hook Up. Shimano Rods and Reels. Fish with the best. Shimano. And by Rancho Leonero, where your wildest Baja dreams come true. And now, Southern California's sports fishing voice, the hosts of Let's Talk Hook Up, Pete Gray, Rock Cod Rick Maxa, and Corey Sandin. And welcome back. Hour number two, Let's Talk Hookup, right here on the Let's Talk Hookup app and radio network. Pete Gray here with Rock Cod Rick Maxa. We're in the world headquarters of Let's Talk Hookup, right next to Fisherman's Landing here in San Diego. Having a great time talking to Captain Andy Cates from the Red Rooster 3, who's uh, actually in Oregon right now on his way down to bring the boat back from Oregon. Uh, We're looking forward to having the Red Rooster 3 back at the dock, no doubt about it. But giving away a great prize today, too. Man, you're not kidding. If you didn't catch the beginning of the show, awesome opportunity for somebody at the end of Let's Talk Hook Up this morning. We're giving away a brand new custom Anza filet knife. Just the sweetest knives in the game, no doubt about that. All the great things you've heard about Anza knife. Well, somebody's going to get to experience that because a brand new filet knife is coming your way. And with that, a $50 gift certificate to Point Loma Seafoods open every day from 11 to 6. Uh, we mentioned it a couple times in the show. Yeah. They are available for in inside dining. It's limited space, and you know they're following all the social guideline protocols, but they are up and running. All that great smoked fish, fresh fish case, all the cook case, everything is going on at Point Loma Seafoods. We are so excited to have them back, and we're excited to talk to you. If you want to get in on the fun, have your shot at winning that great prize, or better yet, your chance to talk to Andy, 833-288-0973. That's how you reach us on Let's Talk Cook Up this morning. Indeed. All right. Time for the catch report, Rick. You got it. Our fishdope.com report today is sponsored by the Fish Pros at Fisherman's Processing in San Diego. Bring your private boat catch in uh, to Fisherman's Processing and give it that expert professional treatment that it deserves. Drop your fish off between 8 and noon. You catch, they process. Let the experts fillet and vacuum pack your fish and turn it into table-ready portions. Fish Pros the Market is now open for fresh fish, smoked and jerkied fish, their spices, rubs, smoked cheese, and their famous tuna burger, and the brand new pokey sauce and pokey mix combo. Oh, man, that's so good. That's exciting news. That pokey kit has always been a super popular thing. It was always just a... You know, all the great spices and dry ingredients. You just added the the liquid ingredients. Well, now they've done it all. They've got a one-stop bottle that has all of the liquid ingredients to make your perfect pokey at home. Very cool. See them at their Liberty Station location or order online at Fisherman'sProcessing.com. All right. Hey, Captain Mark Wish, our private boater buddy from Pacific Edge. Good morning, Mark. Good morning, Pete, Bricky, Andy. Happy Memorial Day weekend. Happy Memorial Day weekend. Yeah, the unofficial start to summer. A little different than normal, I guess, but, you know, maybe <laughs> yeah. I do. <laughs> hey, at least, at least something's getting rolling here. Exactly. It's getting rolling. So, guys, <clears throat> for the past few weeks, you know, I've been doing this then and now report with, you know, local reports a little scarce here with all the drama. And uh, I've been looking back at my logbooks 20 years to May of the year 2000, which in terms of island and coastal fishing for sea bass and yellows, I mean, a whole month was nothing short of fantastic. And like I mentioned last week, I'm going to wrap this up here, wrap up our uh, trip down memory lane with what a lifelong Santa Monica Bay angler had told me back then about the springtime bite in uh, late May of the year 2000. And he said that was the best sea bass fishing, the best ever, better fishing and bigger fish than even the tremendous bites in the late 50s. And that is really saying something because there was a huge population of fish back then and they had some stellar fishing. So whatever happened back there in May of 2000 and in in May of 2001, the next year, and then it just all kind of evaporated, it was really something special. But uh, back to the real world here and uh, definitely a little different story over there at Catalina for sure. Uh, The best news at Catalina is a non-fishing report is that Avalon is partially reopened and you can get some moorings there, uh, first come, first serve. So I'm sure that the locals would be happy to see some uh, customers back again for the weekend. No doubt. And there is a little bit of uh, uh, squid available. I think the carnage is selling some bait right now off the east end. Squid situation overall has been really tough. Middle of the back is where you probably want to go look around if you're going to try and make some. 
Uh, there's scattered yellows around the island, mostly backside middle, backside west, smaller grade fish, but they are around. And they're biting the iron a little bit and biting some sardines along with a squid. There has been a few sea bass, mostly bigger fish. That's good. We've seen very slow sea bass fishing, generally speaking, uh, over there this year. Uh, no report at all from San Clemente Island. Did go a report from Santa Barbara Island. Weather was really tough early in the week. I mean, really tough. That wind we had, I think, was our biggest one this year. Ooh. I mean, it was hooting. Yeah, that was And dropped the water tough. temp, too, right, Mark? Oh, it did. All up and down the coast, up, you know, in the Long Beach area here, we get that upwelling from Palos Verdes. We dropped like six, seven degrees overnight. Oh, yeah. But, uh, yeah. But a little I bit of yellow went... up there at Santa I... Barbara. Yeah. But... At Santa Barbara, too? Uh, Santa Barbara Island, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Wow. And then, of course, offshore, you guys got to do the distance to get down to that bluefin zone. But uh, you get down to that hidden bank zone and skip a flyer underneath a kite or a balloon combo there. And man, there were some good ones. I've heard of uh, several fish over 200 pounds caught this week. So, And judging on the amount of interest we've had, and we've been open for two days now, you know, fully open again with restrictions, of course. Um, but judging from the amount of people that I talk to, buying stuff for bluefin and talk about bluefin, I would imagine you can walk from boat to boat down there <laughs> in that hidden bank zone right now. <laughs> I would imagine there's crazy. a couple boats, a few a yeah. few kites getting yeah. snarled up down there. Oh, I can uh, I can only imagine. <laughs> and uh, throw a cedar plug around down there, guys. You know, a little bit of yelping been caught, too, which is really crazy for uh, this time of year. So, overall, it's going to be an interesting weekend, and thank God – we're getting back to normal. Things are slowly uh, opening back up the way they're supposed to be, and maybe we'll go catch a few fish. Or... Yeah, indeed. Like we that. certainly hope so. And, of course, Danny, Jeff, and the boys at fishdope.com have just been doing a great job keeping people informed. You want to know what's going on every day, every hour? Fishdope.com is your source. Twenty. We've had so many yeah. of our listeners adding fishdope to their repertoire because it's you got to have it fishdope.com 20 bucks off a new membership to fishdope.com using the code hook up now it's all lowercase no space hook up now is your 20 dollar code and how do we find you mark well pete we're in huntington beach we're on the corner of balsa chica and edinger the store is actually open again 10 yeah. to 5 nice. yeah <laughs> yeah you know we've been struggling like everybody else there i've been working the back of the bait tank stuff but you know, the tackle store day-to-day stuff has definitely been uh, different. But, uh, yeah, we're back. And the uh, phone number at the store is area code 714-840-4262. The website specific edge And uh, it's going to be an interesting week here. Yes, it is. Yeah. No <laughs> doubt about it. Yeah, indeed. Hey, Mark, thanks a lot for that. Appreciate it very much. And we will talk to you next Saturday. You got it, guys. We'll see you. Thanks, Mark. All right, that's going to wrap up our catch port today. Sponsored by Gamakatsu. Hey, they set out to develop a hook that was light enough for a live bait to swim naturally, yet strong enough to handle your next trophy bluefin or yellowfin. The answer, the Gamakatsu Nautilus Heavy Duty. The Gamakatsu Nautilus HD is available with a solid ring or as a standard hook. Nothing beats Gamakatsu Nautilus Circle Hooks. Get it at selected tackle stores and be ready to get bit. Now let's hope next Saturday... We have Marcos from Seaforth back. Yeah, It exactly. could happen. I think. I mean, I, this week could be a big week. I feel like that's probably what's going to happen. It could I happen. I think the boats will probably be fishing next weekend. Yeah, next weekend, I, I think my gut is that they'll probably be fishing next weekend or, like, being prepared to run the following yeah. day. That that kind of thing. Like, that's yeah. that's kind of what my – that's what my gut's telling yeah, me. Like, for I, sure. I just think it's. I think End it's, of the month, next here. weekend. Yeah, for you know, sure. I'll, I'll mention something too about that Gamakatsu Nautilus Heavy Duty. That has been a hook that we've been building a lot of our uh, du- trouble rigs oh. out of lately because the sardine that we have right now is on the the average to maybe slightly smaller than average size. I wouldn't call it real big sardine. It's not those big giant sure. corn fed, you know, mega sardines. You know, they're just nice average size sardines. That Gamakatsu H D is such a good hook and that it is very strong and very appropriate if you catch one of these 150 pounders, but it's not so much hook that you're just putting an anchor through that thing. So yeah. we've been full speed making you know kite rigs and flying fish rigs and double sure. trouble rigs at the at the shop there, and that Gamakatsu Nautilus HD has been kind of the hook of the hook of choice. And what sh- what size hook? Like 405 oh You know, again, just depends what, on the bait what size. What pound uh, Seaguar fluorocarbon? We've been using 100 pound Blue Label. 100 100 okay. pound and 130 pound. Okay. De- you know, depending on you know the scenario and things yeah. like that. But yeah, I would say the average 
average one, 130 pound cigar blue label, and like a 5 0 Gamakatsu Nautilus HD circle. Nice. That's like the standard double trouble rig. Yeah, very good. All right, well, phones are packed. Andy's ready. Let's jump into it. Sounds good to me. How about we talk to Dylan? Dylan's calling us from Lake Forest. Hey, Dylan, welcome to the show. How's it going, guys? All right, Andy, morning, I got man. two questions for you. How long was the drive up to the shipyard in Oregon, and what's your favorite fish to catch? Uh-huh. Um, well, the, the drive up was uh, three full days. So the, the morning, basically four days is what it takes. It's three full days. It's about, the, it's 817 miles. So it's it's kind of, I just call it four days is what it takes. And my favorite fish to catch is yellowtail. Me too. I'm with you. Yeah, I don't yeah. think anybody's arguing on that. Why, why do you like yellowtail fishing so much, Andy? Yellowtail fishing because... There's a lot of different techniques. They're strong, and I think they're really good eating. Yes, all the above. <laughs> they're really man. good eating. So much fun. And, and being it's kind of a coastal fish, usually you're in calm waters. Yeah, that's a good point. We too. like that too. <laughs> I like every bit of that. They eat the surface yeah. air, and they're cool. Yeah, and you, you catch those big ones on dropper loops, and you can't stop them sometimes from getting in the rocks. It's just like the challenge, right? Yeah, they really are a great sport fish, man. Absolutely. They're, and they they're and, and you catch them in a lot of different areas up and down the coast. It, it yeah. really can make for a wonderful day of fishing. Anywhere from from 15 miles from the point, Coronado Islands, all the way down to Cabo San Lucas, you got a chance of catching a yellowtail. Yeah, that's I pretty like cool. It. Well answered. Pretty cool. Hey, thanks a lot for the phone call this morning. Hey, everybody. Mike Lum is on the line, and we're we're wrapping it up tomorrow for the Captain Rollo's oh. Kids at Sea Friend of Rollo Big Grand Raffle, right, Mike? Yes, tomorrow's the day, guys. Um, and we're still busy, busy selling tickets. Anybody that would like to get an opportunity to win some of these great prizes, we've got a, about thirty thousand dollars worth of stuff we're going to give away tomorrow. And tickets run ten dollars a piece. Anybody that's interested in getting involved. Just needs to send an email to Tim at RolloKids.org with a name and phone number. Don't forget your phone number because what we'll do is as soon as we get the email, um, we will get back to each person and uh, take their credit card information and get their get them entered into the drawing, which will be tomorrow. Um, but uh, my goodness, just such a great list of prizes. And uh, we have really sold a lot of tickets here in the last few weeks, uh, Thanks, thankfully making up for some of that lost ground of not having uh, the Del Mar show to uh, sell the tickets. So we're making some headway. So I appreciate everybody, uh, everybody getting involved. Yeah. And uh, the more tickets we sell, the more kids we can take fishing, right? That is the whole point of all of this. And uh, we've had so many generous contributions uh, of merchandise and trips and gift cards. And I mean, it's 30, 30 very solid prizes that will be given away uh, tomorrow. And uh, the nice thing, the thing I like about it is the top 10 prizes, starting with the with the uh, entire Ranger 85 boat, uh, that's one of the prizes. You get the, the boat for the day. You take all your buddies with you fishing. But starting with that, going to the 10-day the long-range trip on the Royal Polaris uh, and so on and so forth, the top 10 prizes, uh, what we do is we the first 10 that we draw in the order we keep track of, and then those people get called, and they get to pick. The number one guy gets to pick what he wants of the top 10 prizes, and then uh, we do the second guy, third guy, fourth guy. So it takes a few days to get everybody to pick their prize, but it gives you an opportunity to really win something that you would like. So that's nice. That's cool. That's way cool. Tickets 10 bucks a piece, and how do we get them? Uh, send an email, tim at org with your name and phone number, and then uh, one of us will get back to you and take your credit card information, and we will get you into the drawing, which will be tomorrow uh, uh, starting at about noon. I think we're going to do the drawing. So, Okay, yeah, so get on it today and uh, get your tickets, uh, Tim, at RolloKids.org. And, Andy, I know you've done a lot of great stuff to help Captain Rollo's kids at Sea Friends of Rollo, especially the dunk tank yeah. at the day at the docks, right? Yeah, well, you know, it all started out with that, and um, unfortunately, we weren't able to do it this year, but uh, maybe next year. But yeah, we de- definitely um, promoted that in the beginning of the de- dunk tank was with the uh, with the Rollo help there, so um, we appreciate it. Yeah, That's well, we fun. appreciate the help for sure, and it was always fun to watch your guys going down <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Hey, can, hey, Mike Lum, thanks a lot. Uh, K- Tim at RolloKids.org, your name, your phone number. 
uh, he'll contact you and get you lined up for tickets for the big drawing starting at noon tomorrow. All right. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate the call. Thanks, everybody. All right. Appreciate it. All right. Well, the phones are absolutely packed solid. Everybody's excited to talk. Let's jump back into them and talk to Hills calling us from Ventura this morning. Hi, Hills. Hey. Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Hey, good morning, guys. Um, morning. I got the fish. I got the fish with Andy. It's been a, it's been a long time. It's been like since the nineties. But man, if anybody wants to, nobody wants to catch a fish more than Andy because <laughs> he's. It, it was amazing. I go up in the wheelhouse and see. But when it's slow, you go up there, and that dude is talking about frothing. He's like, I'm going to get some fish, you know. But um, <laughs> re- really, and we got full limits, man, both of those trips, you know. And um, So I wanted to um, ask Rick a question after this one for Andy. Did um, did you guys, or do you guys um, have RSW now on the, on the rooster? And then for Rick, yeah. um, go ahead. Yeah, we. I don't think we've froze a fish in years. It's we bring in all uh, fresh. We I don't. We haven't brined up anything, and I, I don't. Maybe a decade now. It's yeah, like, it's been a yeah. long time since we've froze any fish. That's for sure. Yeah. So you have it. You have that RSW system down on the Red Rooster Three. Yeah. Well, with the help of some of the guys that innovated it, for sure. You know, sure. Tim Ekstrom had a big part of that. Randy Toussaint. Okay. The rest of the guys there had a big, big. Uh, opening on that whole trend there it certainly made it nice for the customer to bring home ready to be filleted fish at the dock you know it's fantastic the whole service is is just fantastic man oh. come in and have the pros cut it and package it and then the longevity of your catch is you know some of that fish last years really oh, you yeah. know it's, it's just it's definitely had a, a, a big impact on the uh, quality of what is available on these boats now the really pro- fantastic. The product that comes off of the Red Rooster Three, you you, ver- you almost can't purchase anything that good. You know, yeah. I mean, it's just it's just so fresh and from spiking and bleeding and gill and gutting those big ones, and and then the you know the final steps that it gets from being processed at the end of it. Like you, you know, you just no matter what money you have, you just can't hardly achieve fish that good. That's that's true. Yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, you're, you're just preserving your 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 investment basically. You know, you bring home your you're catching it's absolutely fantastic and tills you had another question um yeah i wanted to um i've been tying a like a three or four turn surgeon's uh surgeon knot um for mono to fluoro is that rick something you would advise me against or what do you think no, I think that that's perfectly fine too. I think a surgeon's is a you know again tied appropriately is a plenty good one. There, there are a bunch of back ways. Back to back uni. Yeah, there are a yeah. bunch of ways to do that, and I just think that you find a, a connection that's easy for you to tie correctly. You know, I mean, there's there's hundreds of different ways to do it, and every one of them tied wrong will fail, and most all of them tied right will work just fine, and I think a surgeon's is plenty appropriate. Just make sure you're not crossing any, crossing two strands that are going to put pressure on top of each other and pull things down, but I I think a surgeon's is just fine, Um, especially with relatively lighter line. I I don't know that a three-turn surgeon's is what you want to try and catch a cow tuna with, but I would say in most all of your normal scenarios, that knot is quick and easy and fine, and there's a lot of them just like it. Just just make sure you're tying it right. You know, you can pick a lot. For, you can pick from a lot of good ones. Just get one that you're proficient at and stick with it, rather than always try to reinvent the wheel. You and know? just test it. Just yeah, pull on it pull real on hard, it. and uh, it'll. If it's going to break, it's going to break right there. You know, and and hopefully you're on a boat like the Rooster, where you've got you know a crew of the most professional guys in the world, where you can just say, hey, you know, can you show me to do it? Or hey, I just tied this up. Can you you know can you make sure this is okay? You know, let let the let a professional guy, you know, you tug on anybody's shoulder. They'll, they're, I'm sure, happy to check connections and check drag and all that kind of stuff. You bet. Hey, thanks a lot for the phone call this morning. Hey, when we come back, we got a lot more Let's Talk Hookup coming your way, including more of your phone calls. You stay tuned. You're listening to Let's Talk Hookup on the Let's Talk Hookup app and radio network. Hi there. I'm Hayden from Fast Lane Sailing and Kayaking, Southern California's go-to spot for Hobie fishing kayaks right on the water in Mission Bay. Let me tell you, we have big things going on in the shop this time of year. This November marks the 40th year anniversary of Fast Lane Sailing and Kayaking. And as a family owned and operated business, my family and I would like to thank all of our friends and customers for the support over the decades. We also have the brand new 2020 model year Hobie Fishing Kayaks, introducing new features like the automatically retracting kick-up fins 
as well as the revolutionary new Mirage Drive 360, which allows you to rotate and steer your Mirage Drive 360 degrees, giving you 100% control over your fishing kayak. Hobie's also released a new line of more economic options, like the new Mirage Passport 10.5 and 12.0, coming in at only $13.99 and $15.99 respectively, while still including the Hobie Mirage Drive with comfortable raised seats and tons of fishing features. Get down to our shop, Fast Lane Sailing and Kayaking, right on the water in Mission Bay, and see it all for yourself. Or check us out online at fastlanekayaking.com. When it comes to fishing rods for saltwater, there's just one name you need to know, Calstar. Take, for example, the Graphiter series. It's a true graphite and fiberglass composite rod, the finest that's ever been built. And for anglers seeking traditional performance, durability, and quality at an affordable price, the Calstar West Coast series of rods and blanks are the ones for you. Their master craftsmen bring decades of rod building experience to every rod they make. So if you want your fishing rods to be truly state-of-the-art, I always recommend Calstar at fine tackle stores everywhere. It's another innovation from Seaguard the proven leader in saltwater leader material. Introducing new gold label leader. It's Seaguar's thinnest leader material yet, 18% thinner and 17% stronger than any other Seaguar leader. That means it's even less visible underwater and creates more natural presentations for better catch rates in clear water and on leader shy fish. New gold label is made with exclusive Seaguar fluorocarbon resins in a double structure process which provides exceptional knot and tensile strength. Yet it's soft and cinches easily for fail safe knots. Get Seaguar gold label at your favorite tackle dealer or learn more at Seaguar.com. One of the dream trips for most anglers is Alaska. There are so many lodges, how do you make a choice? It's easy. Choose the one most Let's Talk Hookup listeners return to time after time. Kingfisher Charters in Sitka, Alaska. No one does it better than Kingfisher Charters. They offer the best service, the most comfortable accommodations, fantastic food, and the finest charter captains in Sitka. All for the ultimate value. One visit and you will understand why nobody beats Kingfisher Charters. Sitka is famous for some of the best runs of salmon in Alaska. And if giant Alaskan halibut is your target, the expert captains at Kingfisher Charters know the hot spots and can put you on a fish of a lifetime. Plenty of rockfish and huge lingcod are there too. And when it comes to fish processing, the best in Alaska is Kingfisher Charters. It's all included in your package. In fact, everything is included except tips. It is truly amazing how the Kingfisher crew continues the quality of service they deliver year after year. Kingfisher Charters, 800-727-6136 or check kingfishercharters.com. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup. Having a great time here this morning talking fishing with Captain Annie Cates. If you want to join us, 833-288-0973. Been a very busy morning to get through, but that is your shot. Yeah, indeed. Now we have a special guy on the line. His name is Rourke Griffin. He owns a company called San Diego Pool Tile Cleaning, and uh, Rourke has been very, very generous to Captain Rollo's kids that see donated a whole bunch of tackle bags that made uh, Rollo a bunch of money to take a bunch of kids fishing. And Rourke uh, has also uh, become a sponsor of Let's Talk Hookup. We sure appreciate his support, especially during these times. It's much needed, and we appreciate what you do, Rourke. Thanks very much for joining us this morning. Good morning, Rourke. Good morning. Hey, so tell us about San Diego Pool Tire Cleaning. What do you do? Well, um, we I got started back in about 2008. I started uh, trying to perfect the craft, and... Uh, about 2012, we went exclusively into the tile cleaning. So that's pretty much all we do now is clean pool tile. We can do stone, pebble tech, glass tile. I mean, pretty much any surface around your, your swimming pool, we can clean it. So why does pool tile need to be cleaned? Well, um, a lot of it has to do with the water. Some of it has to do with the, the construction. Um, Really, you get calcium on your tile one of two ways. You either get it from the water itself, which is the bathtub ring you see around the pools right. um, and under the spillways. And then sometimes if it's if there's a leak behind the raised wall parts, what we call raised wall, like in front of the spa, um, and a lot of pools have that really thick, almost bleeding through from the back. Right. So those, those are the two most common ways so you get buildup yeah. on your tile. It's this hard water that we live with here in Southern right. California, <laughs> right? That causes oh, yeah. all kinds of problems. Oh, yeah. That's so, why we need a Rourke. So, so why is San Diego, San Diego Pool Tile Cleaning Service better than other methods? 
Um, well, unfortunately, really, there's only a couple of options for the homeowner. You know, you go down to the pool place and they want to sell you a pumice stone, which is just terrible for your tile. That stuff will just wreck your tile. Um, or the chemical cleaners, which are pretty much just an acid base. And those are pretty damaging for your tile as well. Uh, we use a low pressure media blaster. It's like a sand blaster. And we've got a couple different medias we can use depending on the surface. Um, it really does a really good job. And kind of our first priority is to do no harm. So we're going to go in there and get it as clean as we can without doing any damage to your tile. Um, usually it takes us one day. So all you pool owners know out there how how many hours you've spent scrubbing and it just doesn't work. And you can get us in there and we'll nail it in one day. Wow, that's pretty cool. And do it safely. And I mean, like I was looking at your website, sdpooltilecleaning.com. It looks like like it's you change it to make it almost look like new again. Yeah. 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 It works pretty good. Um we we reveal what's underneath the calcium. So if your tile's old and beat up, it's still going to be old and beat up. Um but you know, if if you haven't damaged it with the pumice stones and all that stuff, um we remove that stuff and it it looks almost like new again. If, you, if you've got some color issues or the glaze is, you know, it's so old, it's starting to fail. We can put a sealer on there that really brings back the the color and gives it a consistent look. But, yeah, results are pretty good. Ah, sounds awesome. great. All right. So how do we get a hold of you? We want to have you come check out, give us an, give an estimate, uh, check out our pool or spa, whatever, to San Diego Pool Tile Cleaning. Yeah. How do we get a hold of you? You, you can life. find us online, sdpooltilecleaning.com. There's an instant quote on there. We just need a couple of photos, um, the address and your, your oh, wow. info. It's real easy to fill out. We can nine times out of ten give you an estimate online, no contact. You know, I try not to use the C word this uh, <laughs> conversation but uh, we don't we don't have to contact anybody or anything we can keep our six foot distancing um, but if it's something unusual we like to come out and take a look at it um, or you can call Rose she'll take care of you at 760-721-3037 all right, right sdpooltilecleaning.com Rock appreciate all your support and uh, good luck man hey uh I wish I had a pool so I could have you come out and uh, <laughs> check and, and, and clean the tile for sure. Thanks well, a lot for all this. Well, if you get one, support. let me know. All right, for sure. All right. Well, That's Rook's cool. a fisherman. He's a big Let's Talk hookup listener. So you need your pool tile or spa tile needs cleaning. Call Rourke and uh, sdpooltilecleaning.com. Thanks, Rourke. Appreciate the support. All right. Well, hey, let's jump into the phones. They're packed up. Everybody's excited to talk to Andy. Kai from San Diego is up next on Let's Talk Hookup. What's up, Kai? How you doing, boss? Doing great, good morning. Buddy. Hey, good morning. Good morning. How are you? So this is Kai over here in San Diego, and it's been pretty hard not being able to fish for so long. And I'm just wondering if you could give me the best anticipation of the date that I could find to be going out on the boat again because it's been pretty hard over here just, you know, barely going to the beach and, and staying at home and, and all this stuff, and what do you think it's going to look like when we actually go on the boats? Uh, are we going to have, uh, you know, the six-foot rule? What's going to happen? What do you what do you predict will be happening, and what date do you think will be happening in, at? Andy, I know um, we're we're looking good. I mean, it's possible uh, next week. Uh, possible. I mean, we just have to wait and see. But it's certainly within the next couple of weeks. We really are feeling good about that, according to Ken Frankie and the Sport Fishing Association of California. How 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 are things going to be different on the Red Rooster, Andy? Well, I think that there's going to be a little bit different procedure as far as seating goes in the galley. In fact, I know there is. There's going to be um, try and spread people out and try and stay within the the uh, six foot rule there's a lot of room on the boat <clears throat> and we're just like you said i mean it's we're, we're just going to put things in place and it really is dictated on when the thing opens up you know they're probably going to come down and do an inspection and check things out and make sure that our plan is good but it's all going to be around a, a health plan on board the boat you know the days of sleeping up on the couch in the forward part of the galley are over you know it's just one of those things and 
there's going to be a lot more of uh, wipe down areas and, and sanitization. And in my opinion, you know, th- this is probably going to work out better in, in the long run, because as you know, in the past, you know, you do get outbreaks of, you know, a cold or a flu or whatever on these boats. And, and maybe this is going to try and minimize some of those outbreaks that we've had in the past, minus the, the coronavirus. So I, I would expect to see um, kind of a whole different attitude towards um, cleanliness on boats, um, not just with the crew and the boat itself, but with the clients. You know, people are going to be more aware and conscious of, of worth, what they're doing and, and how they're doing it. And um, it, I, I think it's in the long run, it's probably going to benefit everybody and make it a, a little bit healthier of an environment. Um, on these boats because it, it is confined. I mean, it's a confined space. You're on a boat, you know, it's just the way it is, but you know, everyone's just going to have to work together and um, be conscious that there are other people on the boat and um, minus the coronavirus, no one really wants to come out and get sick. I, I don't care what it is, you know, and, and hopefully um, with a few changes here and, and just people being conscious of that fact that um, we will minimize any of this. Okay. Fantastic. All right, Kai. Thanks a lot for the phone call this morning. How about Bruce in Pacific Beach up next on Let's Talk Hookup? Hi, Bruce. Good morning, guys. I got two questions, one for uh, Pete and one for Andy. First one for Andy is, uh, what's the biggest albacore that you've caught up there? And then for uh, Pete, what did you and Harold catch in Morro Band? Did you go north or south? Uh Andy, are you, you haven't been fishing albacore at all up there, have you? No, we haven't fished albacore at all. I mean, we haven't caught an albacore in a decade. But I think the biggest <laughs> yeah. one that I've seen was a little bit bigger than 50 pounds on the boat. You know, no no grand giants, but, you know, a nice 50-some pounder and plenty of them <clears throat> when, when the run was going on. But we haven't fished up here. It's been strictly maintenance. Yeah. And as far as going fishing with Harold up in Morro Bay, we went north and uh, – to a secret spot that Harold has and, uh, and fished, uh, shallow water, uh, cod. And, and, and we pretty much just kept the uh, vermilions, the reds. And, but we caught, uh, sugar bass and we caught Johnny bass and we caught, uh, blue, blue bass and all kinds of, I mean, it was like every drop you, you got one. That's cool. Right. But the real target was that, um, that beautiful, like four to six pound reds that, oh, that were just, and, and you're fishing shallow water. So their eyes aren't all poked out. And I mean, the meat actually is interesting because, uh, Lolly, my wife commented on it. It's, it seems to be more grouper like it's more firm maybe really? because it's coming from that cold water. And, uh, but I think when we're fishing it here at 300 feet of water, it's cold down there yeah, too. Sure. But so I don't know whether it's the same species. It's just maybe the, the bear, the, the pressure makes it the meat different. I don't know. I just know. I don't know about it. I just know that if you can be catching four to six pound reds on a bass rod and a lead head and swim Sit bait, like I want me in some 80 of that. feet of water. I want me some kidding? of that. Oh, it was so much fun. <laughs> it was a blast. Well, that sounds really hey, good. <laughs> it, it was fun. Yeah. It's, and, and it's a, it's a totally different thing that what we experience here. And those sure. things pull like when you hook them oh, with yeah. gear, when you hook them with gear like that and that size water, I mean, that's a real deal. It's a, yeah. it's like a red calico bass pulling on. Yeah. You. That's when that, like that tranks 400 or tranks oh, 300 from Shimano that worked so yeah. perfect with that big handle. Come on. Be able to get those things coming up. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Hey, thanks a lot for the phone call this morning. How about we jump right back into it and we'll talk to Don. Don, this morning's called us from Woodland Hills. What's up, Don? Welcome to Let's Talk Hook Up. Hey guys, good morning. <clears throat> hey, the, uh, the guy that takes the call, I can't remember his name. He's doing a great job. I didn't Dave. even give him my name. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Dave is a good man. Hey. He's wait, wait. wait. Well, you know, when the only problem is, is that when, uh, of course, Dave Marcus uh, is, is one of the key guys for the Padre broadcast. So when the Padres start back up, we're going to lose Dave. Lose Dave? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, but we're glad to have Dave for sure. He's doing a great job. Hey, Andy, it's 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 a pleasure to speak with you again. Hey, um, two questions for you. Number one, what's your favorite trip length for yourself as far as being the skipper? And then what's your favorite meal on the boat? <laughs> Those are some good ones. Uh, that's pretty good. I like eight-day trips. I, I think an eight-day trip, it gives you the most bang for your buck, and there's a lot of options, you know, so it's it's kind of a, a – kind of a nice trip and there's a lot of variety on an eight day trip for for the average angler it's it's limited uh travel time more varieties more um areas to go for sure spring um, summer the, fall do you like a difference that way on those eight days i personally i like fall i mean who who wouldn't 
choose to have a chance to catch Wahoo. I mean, that, yeah, that's just call. that that kind of makes it. That, that's the catalyst of the whole thing. So the fall eight day trips are great, and then, you know, with the Guadalupe option on an eight day trip too, you've got that. So it just opens up. Um, the arena opens up big time that that time of year for options and areas you you go and uh, not necessarily allowed to go, but uh, uh, just what the conditions permit as far as um, the fisheries go. And as far as the meals go, hmm, you know, Mike. Nall is our chef, and he makes this thing for breakfast, and it's called a, a Dutch baby. And I don't know okay. if you guys know what that is, but what it nope. is is it's a it's pancake batter, and you put it in um, like an egg pan, and then you put it in the oven, and you bake it, and it curls up into this like bowl, this pancake bowl. It makes this crusted pancake and then he pours all this um, fresh berries and fruit on top of it oh it's Man, it, it's dude. a nightmare to make he's got 15 pans down here that he's pouring batter in and putting them in the oven it's a total nightmare but oh is it fantastic man God, that sounds that, pretty that, good the Fired dutch up. baby the, the dutch, dutch baby, baby. Is what it is well, that's the thing, and the, and the, and that's the thing about the long range boats, like the Red Rooster Three. The food is is also a superstar, yeah. as well as the fishing, right? I mean, the meals on the boats are just fantastic, next level. Hey, it's it's a vacation, man, it, and you know how it is when you go on vacation. Food's a big part of it. it it's it, the sit down, the the dining experience is a big part of anybody's vacation, whether it be on a fishing boat or whether it be in Paris, France. You know, I mean, that's part of the deal yeah and it is uh, that's the cool thing about a long range trip it is a fishing ultimate fishing vacation yeah, no there's doubt. no question it hey really thanks is. a lot for the phone call this morning all right how about we jump back into him talk to bruce bruce is calling us from lemon grove this morning hi bruce welcome to let's talk hook up morning great show as usual um caller a couple ahead um answered a lot of the questions with andy on what the protocols will be going back on the boat but uh um, just wanted to ask one question is, uh, temperature checks. Um, what are you guys going to, how are you going to monitor everybody going in and out of the head, that type of thing? That's mainly a lot of people's concerns. Well, it is going to be, um, different going in and out of the heads. There's just going to be a, a, a scale of head thorough cleaningness for the restrooms, you know, where you're going to have to do it quite a bit more and there's there's going to be more of a sanitation spray and we're going to be spraying a lot doing different intervals of spraying and trying to just keep everything clean you know more than anything it's kind of hard to set a schedule as far as the who can use the restroom at what particular time but i think as long as we're like you know every 15 minutes or 20 minutes you go in there and blow over the surfaces with the with the um cleaner you know, it's, it, I mean, you're, you you can only do so much. And right. I think a lot of these questions can be answered on that SAC website of uh, what the boats are going to propose to do as far as keeping uh, it within the ordinance there. Yeah. Uh, Cal, CaliforniaSportFishing.org is a SAC website. They have a guideline now set up for uh, the comeback of the sport fishing right. vessels. And mm -hmm. uh, you can kind of go over those guidelines. One of the things he talked about was temperature checks. And that's something that's going to be monitored much more carefully before, uh, especially on uh, multi-day voyages, is people getting on the boat that are sick. I mean, how many countless of times have, has it happened when people go, oh, I'm not that sick, I'll yeah. go, and then, you know, something spreads. That's not going to happen yeah. anymore, right? I got a three-day run no. before we're fishing. I'll be fine. Yeah, no, that the, the recover because to come on the boat and recover is not going to happen anymore. There's going to yep. be um, a temperature check before the boat sails. Just, you know, I, I mean, like I said, you just got to be a little bit compassionate for the other people on board. You know, if you are right. sick, you got to understand, hey, man, it's not a good idea for me and it's not a good idea for the people that are on the boat. So I'm going to go ahead and sit this one out. And yes. You just have to be more aware. You, you can't take it for granted, you know. Just yeah. hey, I don't feel well. I'm staying home, and that's that. It's just the way we've it been is. talking a lot about how the importance of trip insurance, especially with everything else going on right now, and like that yet again, just is another thing for it. You know, I mean, when you 
when you pump your deposit down, just get a trip insurance. Call it's Bob a, Dawson yeah. at Dawson Insurance it's and such an, get that annual policy. Exactly. And, uh, took the words out of my yeah. mouth. It's such an inexpensive it, way to go to just cover cover yourself. And then if that scenario does happen, you're not out anything. Hey, man, you know, it's a bummer. I'm going to miss this trip, but I'm going to get all my money back, and the boat's going to be covered as well. And, you know, in two more weeks, there's another eight day, and I'll, I'll be going on that one when I'm 100%, and I'm going to enjoy it more, and I'm also not going to put any of the other passengers at risk. That, that's such huge information, you know, for people. That travel insurance is such a good investment. I mean, it's the ultimate investment, especially in this day and age. I, I I can't recommend it enough. You know, we've been pushing that travel insurance for years and years and years, and you get a, a sprinkling of people that get it. But, I mean, if you're going to spend, you, you know, if you're going to spend two thousand dollars to go on vacation, why would you not spend an additional hundred bucks for insurance? I mean, it's it just makes sense, you know. That, no that, well, It gives you peace of mind, and then you're not handing the burden off, you know, trying to get a deposit back or a refund or this and that from from the poor office you know you just deal with an insurance company that you've hired to insure you it just yeah. makes sense no it absolutely and we've always touted with bob you know that annual policy is 285 dollars and and you get it it covers all your trips and so let's say you get a cold or something and you have a trip on the red rooster three coming up and a few days they're not going to let you on the boat yeah. you're, you're not going so but you're covered and you can book another trip right exactly you know it yeah. covers even more than that i mean there's trip interruption oh yeah you know that people have had in the past you get down to the hurricane bank someone gets injured and you got to travel four days to get to cabo and it redoes your entire trip well you got trip interruption you can go ahead and file for that yeah yeah and 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 I emergency mean, evac the helicopter yeah. evac it covers that it, i mean there's a oh, lot yeah too. It, it goes on and on man it, and i mean if you think about what health insurance costs monthly and you're going to get an yeah. annual policy for uh 200 and some dollars it's a it's yeah. a no-brainer you know yep yeah yeah go on our website let's talk hookup.com on the links page you'll see dawson insurance services that's the place to go for that hey thanks a lot for the phone call this morning all right hey let's jump back in and talk to doug doug's calling us from montebello this morning good morning doug thanks for hanging in there with us yeah i was wondering about like the safety issues on the can now the um stateroom how many escape routes are you guys have per stateroom there is exit at the uh each, at each hallway of the stateroom, one exit to the stern and one exit to the forward. So there's an evacuation and then the um, the original evacuation on the stairway. So there's actually two evacuation spots for the uh, two different birthing areas. And, Doug, when you go on a trip on the Red Rooster, there's a safety seminar that happens before the beginning of every single trip that kind of highlights where and how and safety protocol and you know, I mean, fortunately, it's all but never needed, but it's gone over, you know, every single time, regardless where life jackets are and how that kind of stuff. I mean, safety always has been and, you know, with recent activity, even more so a, a, a very important part of your trip. Yeah, no doubt. It's just like it's getting like, on an airplane. Yeah. Same same type of scenario, safety uh, seminars. Briefing. Yep, you're going to yeah. get it every time. Yeah, thanks a lot for the call, Doug. You know, and that that that, that, that is uh, an important point uh, in addition to the health safety the safety of these soulless vessels, like the 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 safety life at sea, is that is that what it is, Andy? I mean, it's a it's a rigorous task for you guys, right? Yeah, it is. It, there's a lot that goes into it. It includes doing international voyages, so it it definitely um, has a lot to do with it. And you know, now with the um, with the um, licensing, you know, you you everyone's got this safety of life at sea training and, and everyone's real aware of what's going on as far as uh, safety goes on these boats it, it really it, everyone does a really good job and you have to keep that up on an annual basis too right andy yeah well i mean that and quarterly drills you know that you do and then audits at the end of the year and then redoing safety procedures this and that i mean it's it's a it's a project for sure you know it really is yeah, the San Diego Long Range Sport Fishing Fleet is, I, I have no qualms in saying it is the safest fishing fleet in the world. Yep. I mean, I mean, would you do would that? Would anybody argue with that? I, I don't know if anybody would argue with it. That's a pretty big statement, but uh, <laughs> I mean, I, I certainly feel that it is. You know, I because that's what we do. 
so yep. but I would it's a big yep, statement no but I um, I agree no doubt about it yeah um, sounds of freedom in the background there, <laughs> for sure. Yeah. Hey, let's try and sneak in one more quick call. How about Nino from Chula Vista? We only got about a minute left for you, Nino. Good morning. Good morning. How are you guys doing? Um, right. I got a question for you. If you got a full boatload of, say, 28 passengers, and the rule is that you got to cut it in half to go fishing, how do you guys determine who gets to go and who don't get to go? <laughs> well, it's a good well, question. We're not to that yet. We yeah, have, exactly. Yeah. That's what I was going to say. Have a, that, that yeah, hasn't happened. You're, you're talking about a crystal ball scenario, but we don't know what how it's going to be. And as soon as it is, we're aware of what we're going to do, then then we'll go ahead and put the information out. But I, I can't just make a prediction on what what might happen or what we might do. It, it, we're not really yeah. to that point. I, no. I think that's the thing. There's been so much speculation on social media, and one guy's opinion is it's going to be this or that, and and I just don't think that that has been the case. A Andy answered that perfectly. There's no reason to speculate on something that just flat out hasn't happened. And, and let's hope that that's it's not going to come to that. I mean, there's no reason it should come to that. Right. Bottom line is, I mean, it's safe to go. I mean, you're 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 in the open space. Yeah. It's been proven that that's the way better place to be. Boat way better than being in an air in, yeah. a, in a in a steel tube. That's for sure. If the boat is sanitized appropriately, they're able to make whatever arrangements they can yeah. for a little extra space and seating. There's no reason that the load needs to differ. No. I mean, the, uh, I mean to be honest with you, you know, I've been on the boat with Andy before. The the cleanliness and sanitation is always up to a very yeah. high standard. I mean, frankly, I, I doubt that it needed to change at all. That's just the world that we're living in right now. And so extra precaution is, is being asked to, yeah. to happen. And so they're going to follow right along with it. Yeah. And, and 28 people on a hundred and what is it? 130 foot boat is not that many people. So a lot of space. Well, 100, 105, but I think, I, you know, I think to add on to that whole thing is I think that it's a big part of this is that if you're sick, don't, don't go out. Right. Yes. I, that, I mean, that's, that's just a fact, you yeah. know, if you, if you feel like you have the flu, don't go out on the boat. Yeah. Yeah. And then there is no problem. Yeah. You know, that's it. That's it. For sure. And that'll be monitored. Hey, thanks a lot for the phone call this hey, morning. Hey, when we come back, we're going to find out who's got themselves a brand new Anza Filet Knives and a $50 gift certificate to Point Loma Seafoods. More Let's Talk Hookup coming your way in the Let's Talk Hookup app and radio network. Hey, this is Rosie with Cedros Sport Fishing. Cedros Island is considered the yellowtail and calico bass fishing capital in the world, and nobody does it better than Cedros Sport Fishing. We are committed to providing first-class service to our guests, as well as an unforgettable fishing experience. We have made a good thing even better. We now have a direct flight departing through the CBX in San Diego. Leave home in the morning and fish in the afternoon. We have a beautiful waterfront lodge with first-class accommodations and meals. What are you waiting for? Call me at 619-772-7570 zero or check out sadosportfishing.com book soon trips are going fast hey it's time for the 30 second power pro seminar here's the hot tip for those of us that like to fish with small reels for big fish fill your spools with power pro max quattro it's 25 percent thinner than standard power pro that means you're going to get more line on that small reel plus you can fly line your bait more effectively here's another tip about power pro max quattro your casting distance will increase in addition to increasing your spool capacity so downsize your tackle and use power pro max quattro check powerpro.com for more information there are plenty of boat slips and marinas in San Diego, but there is only one Kona Kai. It's not just a place to park your boat, it's a way of life here in America's finest city. Come check out what's new at the Kona Kai. 170 luxury guest rooms, including 41 brand new suites, featuring contemporary island-inspired decor, deep soaking tubs and oversized balconies. The Kona Kai Resort Spa and Marina has multiple swimming pools and a private beach, waterfront restaurants, and an award-winning spa, most of which is included for marina tenants add the kona kai club to your membership and you have access to the new paloma pool bar a new and exclusive pool area for adults only which allows guests to enjoy poolside craft cocktails in california coastal cuisine while overlooking your boat in addition to all this kona kai is the closest marina to the open ocean check resort kona kai.com on the web for more information to reserve a slip or inquire about joining the club the kona kai resort much more than just a place to park your boat 
This is Captain Art Taylor of The Searcher. 2020 is the golden anniversary of Cape Polaris and Searcher. Come help us celebrate 50 amazing years in sport fishing. Searcher has a great crew, awesome food, air-conditioned cabins and galley, and an RSW system to preserve your catch. Our 2020 schedule is available now, so this is a golden opportunity to make your reservation online at searchersportfishing.com or call Celia or Callie at 619-226-2400. Three. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup. All right, the big winner of that Anza Flay Knife and the $50 to Point Loma Seafood going to Dylan in Lake Forest. Congratulations, Dylan. Yeah, you're going to enjoy that Anza Flay Knife and, of course, that uh, gift certificate at Point Loma Seafoods for sure. And Andy Cates, Red Rooster 3, I'm sure you're firing the engine up here shortly <laughs> and headed south, right? Yeah, they're, they're drawing the bridge right now. Bring cool. that baby home. Yeah, we'll, we'll look yeah. forward to having you back. And uh, if somebody wants uh, more information, wants to book a trip on the Red Rooster 3, how do we get a hold of you? Um, you can call Maria at the office at area code 619-224-3857 and uh, talk to her about upcoming trips and any information you might have or need. Yeah, fantastic. All right, Great very job, good. Andy. And, of course, Red Rooster, the number 3.com on the web. Andy, safe travels coming home, and thanks for joining us here. And thank you for listening. Thanks to Dave in the studio. Thanks to Adam for all he does with the Let's Talk Hookup app. And we'll be back tomorrow morning, 7 to 9 a.m., with Captain Brandon Hayward from Bite Sport Fishing. He's going to have a lot to say, so you'll want to tune in for that. 7 to 9 a.m. tomorrow morning, right back here on the Let's Talk Hookup app and radio network. 